You go ahead. Oh, you on? Oh, shit. I'm running. <laughs> we in this bitch. Yeah, dog. Um, welcome back. Another banger episode. And today, this is the long awaited. I've been, I've been, I've been fucking stalling this nigga. I've been fucking getting the bottle. I've been trying to get him in here. And now he is finally here. So can we get a round of applause for Millie Ano? Hey, hold up. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. I've been saying Ano. I don't know, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's why I stopped that. I stopped on the gram though, but like niggas still be fucking that shit up, bro. Right, I definitely been fucking that shit up. So like, you get that shit a lot. Like, niggas be fucking your name up. What yeah, that's you? why. I, that's why I like on my uh, cause you know I got the two pages and shit. Mm-hmm. So like on the um on the main page that I've been had, that's why I spelled it um M I L L Y A N O. But it's like I mean that shit still spelled Ano. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Where does that name come from? That's a unique enemy. That's a that's. One of one of my homies gave me that name. Um, just on the block every day. It was just some fly shit he came up with, I think. But I just came to the block one day. Miliano, you know what I'm saying like some fly shit. Mm. That shit rolled off the tongue right. So you know what I'm saying I gotta give him that credit. Shout out to Young G for that. You know what I'm saying, Shout but out. yeah, that's 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 just like a block name. You know what I'm saying like, mm. you know what I'm saying um, something in the hood. My man just gave that shit to me and it stuck. You know what I'm saying it sounded good, so I had to run with it. Okay, okay, all right. So before we start getting to the backstory about. Miliano, um, I want to talk about how I met Miliano. We perf- we we performed at a shoe uh, shoe city yeah, showcase yeah, thing, yeah. and he was one of the few niggas that I actually got an inch. I'm like, yo, let me fuck with this nigga. Like he hard right. as hell. And then we made us we made a cool song together. It's hot. It's hot. That shit was a banger. That shit was, that a, was banger. a banger, bro. That shit was a banger. No okay. cap. And niggas hot. whipped that shit on some. You know what I'm saying like on some low key but last minute shit. Like no, for real. No last minute. Like I was just yeah, but. Um, so I, we, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say we have a hundred percent team chemistry like 2K, but we had a solid like, you know what I mean? Yeah, solid, give it a good 60, 60 lead of 40, you know what I'm saying? That's good enough, good 60, you know 40, I mean? you know. So, so, okay, I just want to get that out there before I start going to the story. So let's start going to this. Where, where are you from? I'm from North Philly originally, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I moved out here about, moved out to Baltimore about 2016. Damn, for real? Yeah, hell yeah. So, I'm saying, I've been, um, but you know, I, I kept going back to the city, so I always stay with my culture, you feel me? Uh, like, like even to this day, I get like, damn, bro, like you, you still sound like you from out there. And then like I tell you how long I've been out here, nigga. Like, damn, like I, you still got your accent and everything mm-hmm. goes. So, you know, see, I make sure I still go back and forth. You feel me? I don't lose my roots or whatnot. But yeah, North Philly to be exact. Originally West, I don't really tell motherfuckers that. You know what I'm saying I'm getting the exclusive today, oh, but shit. You know thank saying? you. Originally West, but you know what I'm saying moved out. Uh, so what part? What North, part? What part of North Philly? Uh, area to be exact. You know what I'm saying? So you got I might say that shit sectioned off. It's it's yeah it is it's big as shit. So it's like north, south, east, west. No, I ain't no east, north, east. You know what I'm saying? But north, south, um, west, southwest, all that shit. So I'm from Area Avenue and North. So it's like each each side got a million hoods. I'm saying it's more than I can count. I'm saying I still I still ain't even unlocked the whole map in Philly. I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. Real shit. That shit still look black. Real shit. That shit, like, I still ain't even unlocked half the map. So it's like like North really my stomping grounds, but I know a little bit of West because like my whole left side of the family from there. So mm-hmm. my pop side, he they they be out west and all that. You know what I'm saying but my mom and we, we we got some family out west, but everybody really migrated down the north. Yeah. That's where that's where we be at now. What the hell brought you to Baltimore? My mom. You know what I'm saying? Getting kicked Damn. out of school doing dumb ass shit. Like I got kicked out of school in Philly at like what's that? Uh 15, 16, around that age. What you know the fuck were you doing? What 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 was dick you doing? Dickhead shit, bro. Dickhead shit, just doing dickhead shit. I, I can't even say I was necessarily a bad kid. Like, you feel me, growing up, you know what I'm saying, I always had the right guidance, you feel me? So it was like I wouldn't say necessarily bad kid, but it was like the right kid doing the wrong things, you feel yeah. me? Getting caught up in the wrong shit, you know what I'm saying? Then my mom left Philly when I was about 14, 15, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Strictly and, um, because of your school? No, no, it wasn't that. She uh she met her husband at the time, mm-hmm. so right now that's her husband or whatever, but um she met she met my stepfather back prior some years, you know what I'm saying? My mom used to go to Myrtle Beach for bike week all the time. Oh, so yeah. like, she met him down there and they was dealing with each other for some years or whatnot. And then, you know what I'm saying, they just tied the knot. And ever since then, you know what I'm saying? So she moved down probably, I want to say, like, I mean, I don't really want to throw their business all out yeah, there. You, like, you feel me? Like, she moved down whenever she moved down here and shit. And then, um, I say probably like a year or two after, I followed. You know what I'm saying? Because at the time, I was already, I got kicked out the crib mm. doing dickhead shit. 
One ain't dickhead shit, bro. What is the definition of dickhead shit? That's some no Philly ass shit. I do not know what that dickhead, is. Dickhead, like, like, just. I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying for that shit on Baltimore Terrence for you. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you about to say dragon, nigga? Dickhead, no, like, like, dickhead gotta be like. I don't even know how. I, I hate translating this shit, bro. But like, dickhead is just a dumbass nigga, bro. Like, okay. Just doing some dumbass shit. Like you just, right, give me you these, just a dickhead. Let me get one of these dickhead stories that you so, that you say. They, what, so is it a specific reason why you got kicked out that you can talk on? Yeah, hell yeah. It ain't no All cases right. or nothing. So like, you know what I'm saying, um, I got kicked out the crib for smoking weed. You know what I'm saying, you know, uh, like like my mom took so much time raising us the right way. I guess her seeing that like tweak with her in a way so she ain't really know how to react to it and she like she snapped about it you feel me not reacting to it the right way not really giving the time to process and that's what eventually led to me being kicked out mm-hmm. and you know what I'm saying being as though my brother like my brother was there to like break up the situation he seen how it played out so like I left the crib he he left right behind me you know what I'm saying and then like we were staying with my grandma for a little bit and um that's what really led up to me getting kicked out of school like being with my grandma and my mom like my grandma, my guy, I had more freedom. So like, and at the time it was crazy because <clears throat> I lived on the same block as my grandma. You know what I'm saying? So we lived at the top of the block. My grandma lived in the middle of the block. My grandma always lived. You ain't move out. You ain't move out. I ain't really <laughs> move out. You know what I'm saying like, nigga, move down the block and then I go sneak in the crib when she not home, grab my shit and all that. So like, I say, uh, probably like, I ain't gonna say four months. I was about to cat, but probably like a year into me moving with my grandma and shit like. You know, you, you got more, she more lenient and stuff like that. So I got more room to get away with shit. You feel mm-hmm. me? And with that, it's like, um, that shit just opened up more doors for me. Now I'm staying outside late. And my grandma always been the type to, when them street lights come on, make sure you in this crib. You feel okay. me? So I got some real deal ass whippings. You feel that me? Shit. Like just missing them street lights, you know, them, <laughs> them, them them cover some real ass whippings. You know what I'm saying? So I, uh, you know, I like like more and more. I just started getting away with more and more shit. So it's just like that's what opened the doors to like me going to hang on the block more and more and more. I, before I'm, I'm on the block, but shit, I know my mom gonna whip my ass if I come in this house past ten thirty. So it's like you know mm-hmm. I'm saying you, you got more like discipline. What block was you hugging? Um, Bavaria Street. You know I'm saying mm-hmm. we from the B to the Six. You feel me? And I'm about to say uh yeah Bavaria Street. I might say even Bavaria or Pulaski, but. You know what I'm saying we, we stretch that shit all the way down to the six. That's my original block. That's where I'm from, 16th Street. So, all right, so you finish you finish the story about. So yeah, um, moved in with Graham Dukes or whatever, and you know more and more and more, and just getting away with more shit, more shit, more shit. And my grandma, I'm, I'm the favorite. You feel me? I'm even with my mom. I'm the favorite. That shit scratching into my little sister. Are you the youngest one? Uh, my little sister, the youngest now. So oh. I just had a little sister, probably like she five now. So she don't count. So you the youngest one. Yeah, I'm the youngest. <laughs> for us, for us, I'm saying so. Like you know, I'm the favorite. I get away with a lot of shit. And yeah. Like my grandma was blind out to a lot of this shit. Like he doing this shit? Hell no. I don't know. He don't do this shit at home. So he's a church kid. Like you feel mm-hmm. me? So I was good at hiding this shit, but eventually the cat gonna get pulled out the bag. So the cat, them lights gonna get turned on. You know what I'm saying so. I say, what the fuck, bro, bro. I stole, I stole my coach iPhone, bro. Nigga, that's the phone. <laughs> hey, Zip, I <laughs> promise you, I apologize, bro. <laughs> nigga, that's the phone. Fuck no, this is a twelve. This bitch was like twenty sixteen, oh. bro. Listen, bro, this nigga had an iPhone four, bro. You stole a four S dummy. Four S, bro. It was worth it at the time. I had an Android. I heard that. <laughs> I wanted that for like, motherfucking. I stole that motherfucking phone, boy, and I swear to God, he couldn't catch me for it. Like, like he couldn't catch me for it. See, like my my, my right hand, my right hand, it won him saying so. He stand on his business. I, I give him that. You know what I'm saying? And like, he grasped the concept of standing on business way before I did. Cause he mm-hmm. like when he felt like, all right, the cat out the bag. He just fuck it. We took that shit. Mill got it. Da, 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 da. I felt some way about that. Don't like nigga, cause you, you got you caught. Yeah. Don't snitch on me, nigga. Yeah. You got caught. So what I'm saying like, I'm standing on no, bro. I ain't take that shit. I'm telling oh, I ain't take shit. I don't know what he talking about. Like, <laughs> I'm saying he got the wrong mill. I don't know who he talking about. So, bro, every week after that, every week after I took that nigga phone, bro, I got suspended, bro. I got suspended, bro. I swear to God, bro, I can't make this shit up, bro. I cannot make like, this you shit would come up, bro. Come to school every week and you would get suspended, bro. I would come to school on Monday, get suspended till Thursday, come back on Thursday, get suspended on Thursday. I swear to God, bro, I cannot make this shit up, bro. My grandma was calling out every fucking week, bro. You know what I'm saying every fucking week to the point where my mom started riding from Baltimore all the way to Philly to reinstate me, bro. 
at the she did that shit a good full time, that shit was wrong. So, right, listen, you gotta come out with it, nigga. Like, but still that nigga phone, bro. That was really the that was really the icing on the cake. Did some nut ass shit I got caught in the bathroom, right? It's like our school was strict as shit. So it's like it's certain times at the bathroom I'm like, it's certain times you can be in the hallway, you gotta have your shirt tucked, man. All types of nut ass yeah, shit. You feel me? It was a charter that. school, so I that. they uh I got caught in the bathroom with some dickheads trying to smoke. Whole time I'm just in there trying to take a shit. I ain't even gonna lie. I was just in there trying to take a shit in peace. Yeah, Really thought I was gonna be quiet till them niggas got out. Whole time them niggas ain't get out. And they started smoking the dope. Came out the bathroom. When I tried to come out the bathroom, that shit locked. So like, when caught me up and like they had an alternative school for this specific school. So oh. you get kicked out of school, you go to this specific school, and then you wait till you get reinstated. So <clears throat> it was some shit they tried to do. I already been to the school before. I get kicked I got kicked out of every school I ever went to, bro. Damn, like man. Like on, on on me, bro. I got kicked out of every school I have once. That shit's crazy. That sounds like a lot of schools. That's a lot of schools, bro. That's more than one hand I can count. So <laughs> Damn. Motherfucking nigga, I got kicked out of the school that you get kicked out of and go to. When I moved out here, I got kicked out of the, the, the alternative school. That shit was crazy. You get so, kicked out of alternative school? Can't make this shit up, bro. Hey, I graduated from home school, good brother. You know what I'm saying? So but uh what the fuck? The all story short, man, he tried to kick me out, send me to the alternative school. But the way he tried to, he like, are right, we gonna send you here for a month, and then you can come back? They like, no, that's not how that shit work. I knew that's not how that shit work. He tried yeah, to finesse me, so. Push your mic back, son. You gonna push it back like that. I'm like, I'm like, uh, I already knew that shit was kept, so he sent me in or whatever. Uh, he tried to send me in at least. Tried to send me in at least, and um, with that, at the, after that, bro, that's when I like they just was on my ass. So it was some situation on my right hand got caught up in. My right hand used to fuck with this bitch or whatever. Yeah, that never come out with. <laughs> take my that drink. Never good come out with. My right hand had a problem with this bitch or whatever. I mean, no, no, no. This is this little bitch. You know what I'm saying, and like, long story short, like he really, he really fucked with this bitch or whatever. So at the time, it was like some niggas like like me and my like I don't know how like the best way to explain this shit we ran that school. Me and my right hand ran that school, bro. No cap. Like our little, not the whole school, but our section, they had the ninth graders separated from the tenth graders and the eleventh graders. Yeah. So everybody was separated. Our end, bro, we ran that shit, bro. Like we want I ain't gonna say we had shit in compliance or we telling niggas what to do, but we getting all the bitches. We doing anything we want in that bitch. So like we we just carrying it, dragging. Damn near. So we got some situation over these with these niggas over this bitch or whatever. And that basically dropped, dragged me into it. That's what I'm saying. I'm carrying it with these niggas over them, over him. Oh, My right hand ended up either getting kicked out or suspended. He ended up getting kicked. I want to say he ended up getting kicked out for me. For me. We was walking in the lunchroom, bro, and he's like, point any bitch out, I'll smack her right now. What the fuck? I swear to God, bro. He did it, bro. He did it. He did it, bro. He's a nut-ass nigga, bro. bro what's that nigga doing? What's that nigga doing right now? <laughs> My man prospering in life, he changed his life. I'm saying yeah, so, good, good. but no, him. right? <laughs> he smacked the bitch. I'm saying straight get kicked out. Man, he like put any bitch out, bro. I'm not playing. He was having a bad day. So. Oh, it clearly was, bro. No cap. So, smack the bitch, get kicked out. I'm still carrying it with it. I'm still carrying it over these, like you know what I'm saying, over the situation. I'm still going at these niggas and all that. So, like, bro, this shit done dragged out to to some school shit, to some block shit. You know what I'm saying? Like the niggas, uh. Long story short, but like the situation got worked out. I guess my, I guess my right hand said fuck that shit. But I was already too deep in with this shit. I'm saying getting under these niggas skin and all that. Like these niggas personally don't fuck with me because of me now. So they going out their way to make my life hell. I'm saying so. Be carrying it, carrying it, and I, I end up putting my homie on. I'm saying one of my niggas from the block. I end up putting him on the situation, and coincidentally, he know these niggas from South Philly. He had problems with this one individual from South Philly or whatever. So I'm saying. I ended up, I ended up getting suspended or some shit. Talk, you know, arguing with one of the niggas at lunch or whatever. You know what I'm saying, doing some nutty ass shit. Ended up getting suspended. My dumb ass came back on Friday thinking he ain't get suspended. I don't know why it ain't dawn on me that he ain't get suspended with me. So I dip out the crib, 315 on the dock. You know what I'm saying, like my block where I used to live, two blocks from the school. So I, I live right here in the school right here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, so in the way, like I told you, that shit shirt. So the way it go about. Everybody got to exit down this yeah, road. Yeah, gotta go do the same. Yeah, way. so yeah. I'm standing right there waiting for him. Boy, come down the block. The nigga will phone our store. Yo, you can't be right here. You gotta move. All right, cool. 
go across the street, waiting for the nigga, waiting for the nigga. We finally come out. We don't even see the nigga that I'm looking for. We see his man. You know what I'm saying? And um, we tip on his man. I ain't gonna lie, his man put mittens on him. Uh, we jumped him, jumped oh, him, banked him, however the fuck you. We tried to at least. I ain't Damn, gonna lie. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't hit the mission, right? He put them hands on niggas. Does he sound good? He put them hands on niggas, bro. No cat. So wait, was it one of you and it was it one of him and two of you? It was one of him. It, it was really like five of him because he had the bitches rocking with him too. He had the bitches rocking the with bitches him. So was jumping in. The bitches was jumping us, bro. It was it, the bitches. It was it was wicked. My man straight socked the bitch. Boom. She straight. <laughs> Uh, I'm like, I'm like, bro, you out of pocket. Go across the street. We following the nigga. He make it hot as shit, bro. He got me kicked out of school, bro. He like, I'm walking behind him. I'm like, he turn around. We try trying to do something. I'm like, no, cuz chill. Go ahead, take it, take it lightly. Just go ahead, bend this left into the parking lot. We gonna have to do it. Shit, the way it played out, I'm glad he ain't been no left until the, you know what I'm saying? He probably would've whipped our ass in that joint, bro, but like... He always sounded sound like he had the hands, bro. Like no cap, no, bro. I was fried up the Zans and shit. I tried to do some extra shit. I tried to kill that nigga that day, bro. I thought what? the Zans was going to enhance my fighting or something. I don't know what I, I thought, know. but... Them Zans gonna make... Them, that, them Zans got my ass whipped that day, boy, and I learned a valuable lesson. <laughs> Yeah, he time will be off. You can't coordinate, nigga. The top was off like a motherfucker. He straight cracked me. I goes right down, bro. I goes right down. Right down. Right down, bro. Like slump down or like? No, like, hell no. Like, like he was already swinging in the midst of me trying to duck that shit. Like, so I'm trying. Connected. Yeah, I try to duck that shit. He straight connect. I'm uh, off balance. My man straight cracked me. Uh, my man ain't even go to the school. He just uh straight jumped in that joint, cracked. Then the bitches start tipping him. The bitches start jumping him. It was a third nigga, bro. He ain't rock neither, bro. I ain't gonna say his name. I'm not you gonna say his name. With y'all? Who? That yeah, was he was with us. He was with us. And he was just standing there, like, yeah. I don't wanna say he was standing there, bro, because when I looked over, he was getting held by the teachers. But nigga, you had multiple options to fuck one of them niggas or them bitches up. I would have put feet on so, the bitches' face, bro. No cap. That was the only time. It was a good time to like pimp slap a bitch, bro. That was the perfect time to pimp slap a bitch. I'm not gonna give all the times. I'm not gonna give all the right times to smack a bitch. <laughs> so I don't want niggas taking it from my hand. But listen, okay. that was definitely one of the times to smack a bitch, bro. I don't fuck smacking her. Sock that bitch. Oh Punch God. that bitch in her face. Break her jaw. Do something. My man did not carry it right. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying that was that was the incident that got me kicked out. And straight from the head, it was it was. I fin- I finagled it a little bit. You know what I'm saying I stayed in I stayed in Philly probably for like another month, two months. Mm-hmm. And like my mom dressed that shit up. Oh yeah, come down Baltimore for the week, like, for the weekend or whatever. All right, cool. I come down, get down here. You know what I'm saying. And I remember she asked me, bro. She like, you ever think about moving to Baltimore? And I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'm fried. I'm fried on my mind. I'm like, yeah, I did, I did. I had a nice little thing about it. <laughs> but I wasn't. I was capping like shit. Two weeks later, I was getting moved to Baltimore. I'm like, no, so I missed the train on purpose and all that. Missed the train on purpose and all that. Like my grandma kicked me out the crib for that shit. So you had to go to Baltimore after that? Yeah, that shit was rough for me. I had to come out here. You know what I'm saying? Make yeah, it right. Man, welcome to Baltimore. <laughs> welcome to Baltimore. Boy, I got dropped out here, man. I was mad as a bitch. I came out here at the time of y'all wearing boot cut jeans and, and Patrick Ingles. Oh, shit. I don't know. I know that was about. a... Mm. I ain't never had no Patrick Ingles, but my man's definitely did. Man, the boot cuts, man. the boot cuts with the Patrick Ingles was not it, bro. It wasn't, bro. Baltimore thorough. I, I consider this shit my second home, but that was not it. I swear to God, There's I hate y'all. a lot of shit that wasn't it. I hate y'all for that. Those little fish, those little fishnet that. flip flops that all the bitches used to wear. Yeah. They wasn't it either. No, they damn sure wasn't. <laughs> What's them other ones? Them, them nut ass Sasquatch boots the bitches used to wear. You oh. remember them? Well, all the fur. Them was never it either. I swear to I God, bro. I trust the bitch with those. I can go on all day. That bitch dirty. And you know she dirty if her, if her boots look like dog fur. I swear to God. Oh shit! I, I swear to God, all shraggy and shit. This is how it was looking a little rough, like. Or oh, the back of they Uggs be on the slant. I can go on all day, bro. I swear to God. Oh, yeah, yeah, God. I remember the end. Oh, that's the broken chair. I can go chair, on all sorry. day, though. This bitch is good. Yeah, that's but, the broken chair. But yeah, that, that shit was vicious, bro. Patrick, even with the boot cut jeans, never liked it. Yeah, I I couldn't never dive into it. it. I, try, I I was looking at it like, ah, I missed this one. I missed this train. But, yeah, um, see, like you seem like a different type of nigga, so I, I want I, I wouldn't like that for you. I nah, wouldn't say that. No, nah, they I got me fucked like up. I was definitely wearing big ass white tees though. When? When niggas wearing big ass white tees? In 06? The triple XLs? Yes. <laughs> With the iPod in my pocket. 
I was that nigga, bro. You know what? I think we all fell victim to that. Cause I had some baggy ass jeans on my ass before. With the iPod, with the iPod shuffle. I had the iPod shuffle. <laughs> I swear to God, I had the worst iPod. But my shit held the most music. I swear to God. Oh my god, you should just probably Bro, I had the iPod shuffle, bro. I was so mad at my mom for giving me that shit, boy. What? And she got me that bitch around the time when iPod touches and all that shit came out. Yeah. The fuck? I ain't even like, what the fuck, Dukes? You did me dirty. No cow. She definitely got that shit from the pawn shop, bro. Probably fucking around did $50. Charging all that. What? All she right. brought that bitch home in the box. Let's get back on top. Let's get back on top. So we, we went to, we, you, you, you walked us through a, a lot of early stages of, of yourself. Yeah. What, at what stage were, were, did you start rapping? Uh, all right, I got two different stages. So I was, I started originally rapping at 13, you know what I'm saying? And that's, uh, you know, following after my brother. I used to follow after my big brother a lot. So what I noticed, like, later in life is, like, a lot of shit that he would do, I end up doing, like, karate. I ended up doing martial arts, shit like that. So yeah. you, you kick a nigga in his face? Yeah, I kick a nigga in his face. I'm, I'm, I, I keep steel toes on my boots at all times. Oh. I keep steel toe boots on my trunk at all times. Oh, I thought you were talking about Yeah, no, shit. not on my feet. No, oh, I got to be fly, bro. No, hell no. Not no steel toe newbies. That's vicious. I swear to God. <laughs> I would have been like, yeah, we got in this shit. <laughs> but no, like, yeah, I kick a nigga in this shit. No hesitation. But like, right, I say 13, I start like rapping. And then like. I want some real nigga shit, bro. I I, I I say I have yet to start taking it serious. Like on some real shit, cause like, what I like, I mean, I, I I'm pretty sure you 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 feel the same way too. But yeah, like, yeah. with most of the things I lock in on, I, I I achieve it. You feel me? If I want to achieve it, I achieve it as long as I focus on it. But I have yet to take. I, you know, I was on house arrest and shit. I say I was taking it serious, and Nigga, I was. For real win. Yeah, hell yeah, I was on house arrest, bro. I was on house arrest for motherfucking, um... Was it before I met you or after? No, this was after you met me, so... Oh, shit. I, this, bro, I just got off house arrest in September. Oh, September shit. September that just passed, so... I was on that motherfucker. Oh, from, you were... I'm, I'm yeah, I might say remember. you was asking me to come to the show yeah, one time. I, I was telling you I was on house arrest and shit, so... Um, I was on that bitch for, like, almost a year, bro. One month shit. of a year. One all month right, short right. of a year. We're gonna get into that. Let's get so, back to when you started rapping. You said you 13, about and then I like I started kind of taking the series on house arrest, but you know I got off house arrest and that shit. Like you know what I'm saying, even on house arrest, you know you get distracted. You, you know got you got money to make money to make shit like that, and on, and on house arrest like that shit. House arrest depressed me, bro. That shit made me so depressed, bro. Cause it's like I'm not the I'm not the type of nigga to just sit in the crib. You feel me? Even I'm going to the studio or I'm running around or whatever the case, but. Just locked in in the crib Like the first Them first couple months I was good Because I sat in that jail For damn like three weeks So three weeks Of doing 20 and 1 Shit like that Bro that That shit 23 and 1 and all that But that shit That shit corny So it's like I came out Grateful of a lot of things That I had I, I came out grateful Of the outcome Of me being on house arrest I got locked up In December for the gun and Nigga then, what We've talking about Real shit bro that, That's why That's why I was on house arrest For the get old of a butt all right, we gonna get to all that. We gonna get to all that. So like, you know what I'm saying, being as though I was in that bitch for like that three weeks, but I came home like just locked in. You know what I'm saying locked in. I dropped a tape. I made a whole tape. That you say, oh, what age was that when you came? That was um, that was just now. That was uh 21, going into 22. Okay. I'm saying so, I uh, sat on house arrest for motherfucking all that time, and that's that's what really made me lock in. I'm saying, drop the old tape. I still got shit that I'm dropping from me being on house arrest, bro. So it's like, shit. I'm saying, crazy. yeah, yeah, bro. I was, I was working in that bitch. Shout out to Tip. You know what I'm saying, Tip. Shout out to motherfucking Grezzo. Shout out to Mick. All them niggas. Who, anybody who was coming through, record me on my time and need. Shout out Slick for coming through, getting all my videos done and shit. All this shit from house arrest, bro. I'm doing all this shit. I'm shooting all them videos on my YouTube, bro. I shot on house arrest, bro. I promise. Damn. You. I promise you. Lemon pepper. Go yard. I wasn't even at my crib on Go yard. I was outside, <laughs> like oh, shit, God. dragging. Well, no your shit was yeah. beeping. Fuck no, my shit wasn't beeping. See, I had I had work. Some saying oh, so like so I was like, allowed to go outside. Okay, you feel okay. me? And I just that shit over with now. Y'all can't get me now. I mean, I just tweak the hours. You know I'm saying I'll be scamming. Tweak the hours. Yeah, I tweak my fucking hours. I, bro, I go to work from. I'm supposed to be at work at seven in the morning. I get off at twelve. But originally on paper, we don't get off till four o'clock. You feel me? So we'll finish our job early and we'll just get out of it. And we got, I got four or five extra hours of just free shit. time that I'm getting paid for. I'm getting paid for this shit. So they like, as long as you send in your pay stubs and this shit match up to how long you've been outside, you're good. 
cool. So, shit, nigga, the day I had the video, I just went straight home after at the work and went outside when it was time to go do the video. That way, uh, if y'all come to me, it's like, all right, well, shit, nigga, I've been outside for 40 hours and I worked for 40 hours. Yeah. Man, so, locked in on that, you know what I'm saying? Dropped the tape and all that. But then getting off, I'm not even gonna say getting off house arrest. <clears throat> it was the fear of me going broke that deterred me from taking the music serious. And that shit crazy, bro. It's crazy. Cause like, you know, we don't really notice that like the shit gonna pay off if we if we if we put the you know what I'm saying you invest in yourself, you're gonna get the money back. You feel me? So you know what I'm saying, but you can't really tell a nigga that who's stuck in the trenches, bro. Who used to making this money? I make I'm used to making this money all day, but you telling me I'm making one third of this from a goddamn song? A song like, bro. What the fuck I go song? to my streams, bro. I just told my shorty, I'm like, I'm like, I got like one fifty on streams. You know what I'm saying? Just from like Nigga, this you got kid. With I'm like two something. You feel me? So yeah. but 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 I'm telling her I'm like 150, 200 in streams. That's a lot of fucking streams, bro. Exactly. That's a lot of streams, bro. Like that's not light. So it's like I congratulate you for that, bro. No cat. And it's not easy. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you like you said, bro, you making you used to making this type of money and then you go to making this. Then I got fired. So now I don't even have no excuse to go outside. I'm finessing to go outside. And if the finesse don't add up, I can't go outside. So, shit equals up to me not being able to go outside at all. I don't got no job, bro. I was finessing it for probably like a good two weeks. But after that two weeks, it was over. You know what I'm saying? The music started to dry up for me. Because I started to lose motivation, oh, confidence, oh, all that shit, bro. And I'm sitting in this crib and I'm watching motherfuckers live their life. I'm watching YouTube and shit like that or whatever the case. Yeah, YouTube is a dangerous app. Yo, I just figured out like yesterday that. that YouTube is a very depressing app. I'll be watching something about bitches shaking their ass. Like, and they'll put some something bitches. real shit. <laughs> and then these niggas will throw something on your screen like, are you sitting on your ass all day? Do you need some motivation to go get a bag? <laughs> real shit. So I'm in that bitch depressed as shit, bro. You wake, like, up, you wake up in the morning like, fuck, oh, man, I need to like get some quick cash. You open up your YouTube app. I'm in that bitch trying to finesse something. You hear me like, what the fuck YouTube got to offer today? Real <laughs> shit. They stay with the f for less schemes. What's I'm saying? Like, I say, I say at the like Lemon Pepper, bro, that shit just started to dry up for me, bro. I, I started to get lax. You feel me? I started to get lax quick making music. Yeah. yeah, and that's and that's all it be like. You get comfortable with this way of living. So, at the time, nigga, my way of living. They let me out of jail December 22nd. December 22nd. Because I'm about to say it was like two or three days before Christmas. So, I got the finesse being outside for like a good three days before I, before I had to actually go in and get the band put on my hand. So, came on that first day. That first day outside, they, they allowed me to go outside. I just went to... Uh, Guitar City or whatever the fuck the little joint is up Bill in the county. Music. Yeah, some shit like that. And it's um I went in there, I grabbed the mic, grabbed the uh it's like this little styrofoam that joint that go I behind know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? All that bro, grab my pot filter, all that. And I say the only thing I was short on was a was an interface. So from there that's that's when I was just calling my engineers. Yo, da da, da I got I got this, I got that, I got this, I got that. And they alright, well do you have this? No, I don't got that. Do you have this? No, I ain't got that. Only thing I was short of was a computer with the uh with software the, with the software and, and the, the um, interface. interface. Yeah. And the interface. That's it. That's not much. Like, that's not much. What you said you exactly. had, like, so that's a lot. I had everything I needed except for those two things. And I really had the laptop. All I had to do was download I had the software on there. Because I remember when I first moved out here, bro, you came out here to no friends and shit. That was another time that I was fully locked into the music. I made my whole closet a studio. You know, I took all my clothes out of my closet, boarded it up. I ain't had no styrofoam or nothing. You know what I'm saying so I improvised. We had some like I used the motherfucking um I got hit this. The screens to the to the to the jump, bro, to the uh to the window. Your screen window. Oh shit. The window bro. screen. Yeah, I used I used a bunch of those and I doubled them up. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And, that was and good, that was hitting. That bitch was hitting, bro. The way I did it was I hey, cut take take down some notes. Take down some notes. Bro shit, it ain't no excuses, you know I'm saying. So I cut out the inside and I just like you know I'm saying that way it's flimsy. So that way I'm like I'm not lining it straight up, but I'm like mismatching. You feel me? I'm mitch and I'm mismatching it on purpose to try to get this like style home, you know what I'm saying? But I don't want none of the holes to be lined up together. You feel me? So put that shit over some cardboard. I ain't honestly I ain't even think this shit was gonna work, but when I started recording it worked. I really feel like it was just the cardboard. You'd be, be surprised what you don't need. Bro, you you'd be so surprised, shit. bro. Because even when I got out of jail and I put together like the uh the mic and everything else I needed. That was like when I'm when I'm recording, bro. I'm getting the same I'm getting the same sound that I would from going into the studio, and that's just from the engineer 
putting his little ones and twos on it. You feel me? And me having everything else I need. So, you don't really, like, we subject ourselves to needing all this shit, man. And, and another thing is, like, all right, I, I know this guy charges. He, he going to do my videos for free. You know what I'm saying? But it, it don't look how I want it to. You feel me? So, I'm going to go to this guy who charged me 200 he add all the flashing lights and flickering lights and everything else yeah, I want to it. Time, you feel me? So, like, a lot of that shit went out the window when it came to, all right, what the fuck do I really need to make this shit work? You feel me? And when it came down to it, I really didn't need much, bro. I got what I got from the little John. And that's how you started everything. Got a video, man, and that's when I really locked in. You feel me? Like, started seeing this shit for what it was. And this was when you came out. Yeah, this was this was just 21, last year, bro. 21. It was just last year. Because I ain't do no bed or nothing. I wasn't in there for long. You know what I'm saying? I did that two, three weeks. And shit, two, three weeks off the sh from your work, regular way of living, they snatch you off the streets, bro. You get snatched off the streets right now and you get thrown into a box. And you got to sit in that bitch for two to three weeks. You can't leave out that bitch to go take a shit. You can't leave out that bitch to go play the game. You can't leave out that bitch to go eat. That should have fucked with your way of living. You feel me? Or, or how you even think. So I came out locked in, bro. I... Not even just locked in, bro, but appreciative of the shit that I do have. You feel me? So it was like, I know where I don't want to end up at. And that wasn't really my first time going, but I can say, because like I told you, bro, the reason I ended up on House of is because I locked up the month before. You feel me? So, but that specific time, I didn't, I didn't, I had to, you know I'm saying, like, these niggas ain't packed. The gels ain't packed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> These motherfuckers is holding niggas. Fuck COVID. We keeping you niggas in here. And I got booked for a gun this time. So it was like, we keeping your ass, nigga. You ain't going yeah, nowhere. Fuck you. you ain't going nowhere, nigga. Okay. Straight denied me a bell. I had to sit on that bitch. I know. Because I got a lawyer. And that bitch got me and she said two. Th she did just said two things in court, bro. She said two things in my bell here. Bro. Yeah, I could have said, said them two things, yeah, money. I paid 500 for that bitch to show up in the bell here. For the bell hearing, bro. That was separated from the fee I had to pay. Oh my god! You know what I'm saying it, it, it cost she was just like, yeah, he to be a shit. criminal. No cap, it cost no, to be real. a criminal. You know what I'm saying shout out to Wallow for that, man. Cause I swear to God, it do. Hey, that that is a good. That is a not it, it on a good side. It's it's a good. It's story. a good story. It worked out for the better. It's good to see, like everything worked out for right the better. Now, you know like that's like I, like you won. You know yeah, what I mean? hell yeah, like. So I'm I'm glad to see. You. And I needed that. I needed yeah. that in a sense because like. You feel like you untouchable. You feel like you gotta think, bro. I say 2020 when COVID started, 2019 going into 2020. I got fired from my drive. So fuck that. I just started selling weed again. You feel me? And from there it was up, bro. I went from selling eighths to ounces. To Trust me, I know how to go. So you feel me? So like starting to get all this motherfucking money and then all that shit gets snatched from me, bro. So it was like that shit humbled me in a sense. By a nigga named fucking Walter. <laughs> fucking Chad, you feel me? <laughs> like nut ass Chad. nigga, man. Fuck that nigga Chad. <laughs> but um, all right. So I'm, I was, let's wrap it up on a good note. So we gave us a good start on how you started. You gave us a, a good. You gave us a good summary of like how you felt mentally, what was going on, what made you do the things you did, mm -hmm. and and I felt like me personally, my opinion is like you you were a smart man, a smart young man then, right? Compared to like saying. You, you just starting to be smart. Yeah. You, 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 but you know what I'm saying. I'm like, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Like, I ain't, like, that's something that I was always told, like, you, you got a good head on your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Feel me? And that just comes from being raised by good people. Mm -hmm. Like, my mom, my grandmother. I ain't had my dad on my life. You feel me? I ain't, I'm not the type to say I ain't had my dad. Cause you got people who really don't have their father. But at the same time, my, my pop been out of jail my whole life. So, I can say right now at 22 is the, the most time I ever spent with my dad. Cause like, he just came home about a month ago. Had to do nine years, so. Yeah, that's a long time. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. So, and then that nine was like really straight with the five. So it's like he did five years, came home for like six months, and did did another nine year bid. So it was like, Damn, nigga. that I shit. That you feel me? Like not not being able to have my pop and shit. Like I I got a few regrets. You know what I'm saying because there's a lot of shit. All right, I might have had a hissy fit about this nigga taking my lollipop. I didn't have my dad to tell me, yo, that's some bitch ass shit. Tighten you up. You feel me? Like, so you had to teach yourself some shit. But same as I'm old time, bro, I had females raising me with respect and honor same, and, same. and morals and shit like that. You feel me? So, I, and I can tell by how the way you talk, bro, you got you got respect in you. You saying you was raised the right way or with some type of sense. You feel me? Yeah. So, but that, bro, like, you know what I'm saying, like a lot of the shit that I did, I can say I, I honestly did on my own token. You 
feel me? Trying to be curious and shit like that. I just said that in one of my songs I just I just recorded too. But like, I had a good upbringing, so it was like, I always had a good head on my shoulders, you feel me? Hey, we, nigga, we a done breed. I don't know if that's good or it's that bad. Oh, that's a great that, thing, man. You know, you know what that mean? Yeah. We gotta yeah. have a lot of fucking kids. You gotta fuck a lot of bitches right now. I don't know about all that good, bro. <laughs> he trying. I'm playing, I'm playing. He is trying to get his ass up when he go home. I <laughs> promise you he is. But no, like I'm not gonna be in that boot. Sorry, y'all, but um give 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 the people something like what what they what can they wait for? You just drop that EP, like what can they wait for? What's coming up? Man, listen, we got we got so much shit coming up, man. Like I got the uh the EP, so the EP from another standpoint, that's out right now. You got Millie Pimpin. I dropped Millie Pimpin July first of last year. Yeah, I remember that. I'm saying July first and I and I really I dropped it. I'm not mad, but I'm mad because I dropped it trying to keep Bro, up. That a art cover? That bitch hard. Shout out to Grezzo for that bitch. You know what I'm saying, we about, about to drop the deluxe for that. And then um, the EP, the EP deluxe. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a deluxe for the EP, and I'm gonna make that bitch an album, like, not an album, but a mixtape. You know what I'm saying, so it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna go from an EP. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be, it's gonna go from an EP to a mixtape. So when y'all get that deluxe, that bitch is a straight mixtape. I'm saying I'm already still labeled the EP. No, I ain't gonna be able to label the EP. That bitch gonna have like 16 tracks on it. So Nigga, that's the mixtape. I'm saying, and I say right now it only got like six of them. Three. You feel me? Oh <laughs> <laughs> like. no. I'm about to say that bitch got like a good. I don't even know how many songs that bro. I I just be like that that. Millie Pippen was orchestrated. Cloverfield was orchestrated. Half Knots one and two was orchestrated. From another standpoint, it was not orchestrated. From another standpoint, it was just literally from another standpoint. All right, so I'm 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 in this I'm in this headspace. I want to give them this type of music. I just dropped Millie Pimpin. Millie Pimpin is nothing but every song on Millie Pimpin is freestyle. I didn't write nothing on Millie Pimpin, bro. And you didn't even open up the notes app, nigga. No, fuck ass, no, bro. Like not even for the for the hook, bro. Like everything is freestyle in that bitch. We smoking drugs and we making music. Man, so I need, I need to, I need to take that sound bite, put that in my I'm trying music. to tell smoking you, bro. We smoking drugs music. and we making I music. Like you feel like me? That. So, I'm saying then lock them with the right people. I had Tip around me, Tip Twelve. That's the, that's the old producer for um Shorty Shorty or whatever. I'm saying like oh yeah it he is heavy slept on, bro. That man he hard, bro. He this hard. man we got we got I got I got three tracks. I got three tracks with Tip on them bitches. For real? Like his beats exact and um. Two of them, two of them, one of them is, uh, well, all three of them is his beats, but two of them, bro, I want to see me in my face, bro. Like, like sitting there. Like, bro, I'm, he just called me to the studio, bro, what you doing? Nigga drunk or something. What you doing? No, nah, <laughs> <You laughs> nah, bro, what you want, bro? He, yeah, come to the studio, bro. I got some shit for you. I want you to get on this. Those be the best nights. I like the best nights, bro, and I, and I like those type of sessions because I give you raw material it's not nothing planned or it's not nothing that's motherfucking reenacted or anything you feel me shit is all up the top or even if i'm writing the notes it's from the moment you feel me i can't i didn't write this shit three days ago and rehearsed yeah. it so you feel me so he uh is those songs up all three of them none of those songs is up nigga Ooh, i'm waiting shit. for the right moment but you talking about we got we got the flashing lights he did the he did the flashing lights Kanye I'm West. For, I'm, I'm, I'm asking for, ask for one of them. Just send one through. So Just I'm pick gonna... one through three, and I'll let you. I'll let y'all have them, man. I, I give it to you, but I play that. I play that bitch live on stream when I, I do got it you. Friday. Yeah, I got you. I I'm send. I, I'm, I'm gonna send one through. I'm gonna send the flashing lights through, probably. Either the flashing lights or the good man. But both of those songs is sampled from a from a song. And bro, when I say he made that shit in five minutes, I must have been high or drunk my dad. So. No, you wasn't, nigga. I that wasn't, nigga, bro. Was he made magic. that shit, bro. That nigga like made that shit. I recorded the whole thing, bro. Magic. He made that shit in five magic. minutes, bro. He made both, like, bro, both sessions. It was it was magic. two different sessions. But he called me this one night, yo, bro, can you come to the session? Can you come to the studio? No, nah, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm high as shit in the crib, bro. You tweaking. I'm not coming outside at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, nigga. I'm asleep. Call me through the, I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna hit you up the next day. Came through the next day, bro. He whipped that shit up in my face, bro. Ready? Look like he put on, he looked like he put on a fucking fairy godmother suit. This nigga, like, real shit. Sprinkled <laughs> a little bit of dab on that bitch and all that. You feel me? I'm like, I'm listening to this shit like, bro, like, what the fuck? Fuck you already had this bitch made, nigga. Hey, man. Drop them bitches, bro. Man, the them bitches thing, coming, man. The last thing I want to say to you is what do you want to say to the people? The man. people that's listening, that's coming to this video for you. 
The people that's coming in for me, man, stay locked. Man, we got a lot of shit coming. I don't know what camera I'm supposed to look at, but yeah, we got a lot of shit coming. So I'm saying, I promise you, I promise you, I'm getting back right. I just picked the pen back up and all that, so there's no more freestyle, none of that. So I'm saying, so and. On another note, man, if you got a motherfucking dream or goal or anything, man, nothing, nothing is going to stop you except for you. So lock in and get that shit done, man. That's, so I can get it to him. So I can get it to him on a good note, positive note. Shit. Yeah, Miliano. That was, man. Miliano, Miliano. y'all know what the fuck going on, Thank man. Thank you. We in this bitch. Yes, Never sir. Never beggar. Um, make sure your bitch don't watch this because she's going to be DMing Miliano after this. Yeah, man. That's it. Number one podcast on earth. We out this bitch. Bye.